There. These are our raised concrete curvy beds between the two fronts of the cob house. They're at about, uh, there's three or four different levels here. We'll see when we get it all done. Gord's been working on this and he's got it fine-tuned. He's got his process fine-tuned. Want to show us your tools, Gord? This is a... Uh, Some kind of a fancy cutting device that wasn't really good for anything. It's a piece of... Yeah. It's a piece of steel. Yep. Stainless steel. The little hand. Edge. Uh, I've got a large uh, tray cool. at the moment, but then I like to use a little bit smaller one. And you just put it on both sides. You take the, the cement there, the concrete, by shovelful, and you just pull it up the expanded metal lath. The expanded metal lath is anchored into the ground, pounded in with some uh, steel rod. No, not steel rod. It's what is it? Iron rod? Uh, it is. Uh, yeah, it is a uh, steel rod. It's a uh, cold rolled steel rod. It'll eventually rust out, but the idea is to completely encase the expanded metal lath in the concrete. And so the first coat comes up, and then it will harden. And you put two more coats on top of this, and then your uh, final plaster. So it, um, what happens is the first coat basically just locks it in place and makes it good and rigid. And in behind you there, against the deck, you've used the uh, pieces of galvalume for the back side of the bed. Which, of course, you won't see that because it'll have soil in it. But use that because it's in a very difficult spot. And you want to make sure if you ever have to replace the deck, you do have access. So try to think ahead here. And this is one front door of the house. And there was a great big rose bush there that we took out because this is zone one. And we can grow lots of things in there. Just like on the other side, we've got some herbs right so outside the front door, as well as uh, basil, of course, very hot. Ginger, we're looking at some ginger there. And lemon trees, we've got three lemon, well, bushes. And highly, highly productive. Me? Yeah, you're productive too, Gord. Lemon tree. And another lemon tree, ginger, and in the back there, the turmeric. It survived the winter and it's coming up. But unfortunately, the lemon tree like doubled its size over the spring. Just, it's happy. And nasturtiums everywhere. So this is a microclimate because it's a southern side against a cob wall. So we can grow vegetables all winter in there as well as in, in amongst the perennials. We grow winter veggies. And then in the summer we grow things like basil and... And so this area between the two front doors was just primed to do more raised curvy beds. But it's an interesting spot because it's multiple layers of heights. And it's staggered and we wanted pathways. We've also got the propane tanks in there under the tarp. There, uh, Gord built a beautiful bench in there. Take a peek. I'm going to come around. We're going to dig out that apple tree there. But there's the beautiful bench. So we can sit on that and it protects the propane tanks from the sun and it lifts up beautifully. And underneath the propane tanks is the irrigation stuff. So everything's fully winterized now. So it was time that we did that. And also in behind here is also the well. So it'll have a nice cover on it, the same as the other one. So everything will be properly protected, the code and- uh, Winterized. Winterized. And they're beautiful curvy beds. I keep cutting your head off, I'm sorry. There he is! <laughs> He's getting some more cement here. So right outside the two front doors. And you're gonna ask what's the mix in the cement? What's the mix in the cement, Gord? The mix in the cement is approximately uh, two parts sand, one part Portland cement. Two parts concrete sand. Yeah, so it's quite a rich mix. It's a rich mix. A rich mix. So you put a couple shovelfuls in there, and then I grab my little spatula you know, and watch come around this. the other side, it might be easier. I'm actually going to come this way, try not to impale myself on one of these things, stick it up. Mm. 
you can see the process here very fast. The very first one we did was quite a slow process and every time we do it we get a little better at fine-tuning the process. But they create a very and beautiful... If you don't have one of these guys, you have a full float, you can always just use, use your hand. hand. Yeah. You've got gloves on, obviously. Yeah, what I do is I have a pair of waterproof um, gloves underneath. Yep. And then a rigid pair of yep. gloves on top. Well, that gives you good mobility without having too big of gloves. But, so this area I'm standing in will be the walking area. You'll be able to sit right here in the middle of it. You can sit looking in at the house or sit looking out. And you can see a little more of that uh, steel rod sticking out. So these curvy beds will come around this whole area and actually stick out beyond the stairs here just a little bit. I don't know if that shows up in the video, the little rods. There you have it. Thanks, Gord. Thanks for showing us. You're welcome, man.